Yo, what's going on guys? Bigfoot back in the brick room. And today, as you can see, we got the ODST Hive Exterminators Pack. Um, I bought two of these. They were uh, in the same store as I found the um, Red Team Warthog Rescue. Um, I just found them today, so I uh, did not get them at the same time as the Red Team set. But um, super, super excited for this. Um, I've checked my local Walmart. I had to drive to the 45 minutes north to two different Walmarts up there. And, um, well, as you see, we have it here. Um, I also did unpack and build the Scorpion um, for 2022, and I will review that next. Um, so, yeah, look out for both of the uh, the Scorpion set and the ATTE modification video. Uh, I should have that coming out soonish. I'm changing it into a, um, a Imperial um, ATTE from Bad Batch. But, anyways, um, as you see, we have the ODST um, Fire Team. And then the two um, drones. A um, little bit of the back of the box is you get two SMGs, a Spartan laser, the biofoam, a laser, grenade, knife, and the uh, needler and plasma rifle, and the um, SOCOM pistol. I'm just get a different stance for the figures. Um, and I'm really excited for these drones for a different color because I have a couple of the green that we've gotten previously, but. Um, I think you rip it open from the top. Yep, right there. We'll rip it open together uh, to kind of see what it looks like. Oh, I'm not looking very nice. No real nice way to open this. Um, that's why I bought a second one to keep it sealed. Um, I do like having a sealed collection personally. Um, not a good habit to get into, but a fun one. So I'll finish getting these unboxed uh, so we can start the review. All right, so I th here we have all of our figures laid out. Um, we have the drones and the ODST. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I gave the ODSTs the right weapons. I don't think I did. Um, the ODST Tarkov squad. Um, I just started giving people weapons um, with no really regards to, to what they should have. Um, I think we're going to start off with drones, um, but the drones look really, really good. This is a more of a silver paint application, um, just super, super solid. You can see like the, the circles on the top halves of their little um, wing flaps, maybe. I'm not sure exactly what, they, what to call them. Um, with the light blue coloring, it looks super good. Um, their little uh, lower antenna parts also have silver coloring. Um, even the eyes, really good paint application on the eyes. Super, super solid, and I gave this one the plasma pistol. Um, like I said, super nice to have different colors um, of these figures. Like I said, I have a couple of the, like the greenish version. Um, so nice to get these different versions and same color on the on these top flaps, um, but this nice uh, light blue color um, eye applications are pretty. Eye paint applications look super solid. Nice detail on the head. Um, and same thing with these uh, rear antenna type deals um, with the paint application there. Just super, super solid. Um, yeah, this one, the Needler. But uh, super nice to have a light blue and a silver. Um, we have the ODST flag. I have not had one of these. I'm not sure if this is brand new, um, but super cool. Super cool to have the ODST flag. Um, with a skull and nice to have new sandbags or more sandbags um, but a really cool flag to have um, nice to just put it somewhere if you want to display it um, hang it on a, on a vehicle if you're displaying vehicles and whatnot super cool to have that I think we'll start off with we'll just start off with the dark blue um, he has the I believe it's a communication bag or a uh, backpack I assume it's a compact um, and he has the antenna on the side of his head, um, but the dark blue looks super good. Um, looks almost black on his chest piece, um, but is a dark blue. See him on his head. I think the camera might come through a little bit darker, so it looks black, but I think from what you can see on his chest piece or, or his undersuit, you can kind of probably see a, a difference in color. Um, but super, super nice. Uh, I don't think I have found any QC issues yet on these figures. 
thankfully. Um, we have the SMG with the suppressor on it and the red dot um, with the, like, I think it's a Call of Duty suppressor. It looks better than what they've used before. Um, but very nice, very, very nice. You, there's the ODST logo on his chest piece and then UNSC on his chest plate also. Um, no printing on his arm, on his shoulder pads, um, unlike the other, on some of the other ones, but um, super nice, super, super nice figure. I'm a huge fan of ODSTs, so I'm really pleased with this. Uh, I do love ODSTs a lot. Um, we'll go with the screen one with like a more of a recon um, ODST. Um, same paint paint applications on his chest with the UNSC and the ODST logo on his left over his heart. Um, more of a olivish green, uh, brighter olive green. Um, super super cool. Um, I'm not sure if this is a new backpack. Um, I kind of want to say it is, but I'm not sure. Um, I think it accurately matches like the rookie rookie's backpack. I remember correctly um, but super nice he also does have um, a standard ODST shoulder plate and then a different shoulder plate I think matches uh, Mickey's I believe um, same with this one he has a different shoulder plate um, as you can see but he I gave him the suppressed pistol and very very nice the color on on their um, thigh pads are more of a metallic um, so it's a little bit different um, than the flag ray on their shoulder pads helmets and whatnot but it doesn't bother me looks really really good I think I caught a QC issue yep this guy has loose elbow which is so cool love that um, come on mega let's get together um, but good figure I should be able to fix him I, I hope um, let's do the yellow. I really, really do like the yellow ODST in this set. Oh, I just broke this guy's arm and he does not have a QC. I thought he had a QC issue. Let me fix his arm. Um, this guy does have, um, paint applications on his shoulders. Um, this has a O negative for his blood type. Can you see that? I think you can. And then a yellow marking here. I'm not sure if this would be a commander. Um, I kind of say want to say is, but I'm not sure. Um, I do love this figure a lot. Um, he has some battle damage on his helmet, which looks, I, I think it's battle damage. I hope that's correct, but he looks awesome. Um, battle damage on his chest piece also with some black markings with uh, Tarkov on the top. He, he has a name and then the ODST and UNSC. No other figure has a name, unfortunately, except him. Um, but I do love this figure. I think he is my favorite. And on to this figure. And this is just a standard white with a uh, light on the top. I gave, he has the knife and the biofoam. Um, and I gave him the Spress SMG. He has dark brown hands. Um, really nice with the white. I don't, I'm not sure. I can't remember well enough that I don't know if we had a white colored ODST, but super cool. Not sure why he came with a white backpack instead of a gray. I would have been fine if he just came with the gray standard backpack. Um, but I guess he had to have a white um, backpack. He also has a UNSC logo and the ODST logo over his, le uh, over his heart. Um, but no paint application on his shoulder pads, which kind of bothers me. I'm not sure if they're supposed to. I'll have to look at my other sets. Um, but... Other than that, a great set. If you love ODSTs like I do, I love ODSTs. They've always been um, something of of almost worth, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure, but I do love this set a lot. If you guys can find it, I know it's a Walmart exclusive and hard to find right now, but well worth it if you can find it. I'm not sure if I'll sell my second version. I'm on eBay, but I might. Um, but this is a great set to pick up if you can, if you love ODSTs. Um, Figure selection is great, and the, the drones are are awesome to have. Um, so yeah, if, if you're new to the channel, guys, if you like what I do here, I like to modify and review sets um, with Halo Mega Constructs and Lego Star Wars. Um, sometimes I branch out to different Lego uh, brand or Lego licenses, but mostly you'll stick with Star Wars and Halo Mega Constructs. Um, but yeah, if you're new, you like the stuff that I do, like this channel, please subscribe, and as always, take it easy.